Total recap here. Today we will be going through the events of the 2020 action thriller movie Extraction, directed by Sam Hargrave. Warning, this video contains spoilers, so watch at your own risk. Now, let's get right into the movie. At the beginning of the movie, we see Ovi Mahajan, the son of a jailed Indian drug boss, coming home from school. He slips out of his residence to visit a club with friends. One of his friends calls him outside to smoke, but things take a turn when two people and police officers disguise abduct him. The officers are working for a rival drug lord, Amir Asif. Saju Rav, Ovi's guardian and former para-operative, pays a visit to Ovi's father in jail, informing him of his son's kidnapping by opposition Amir Asif. Ovi Mahajan Sr. is unwilling to pay the ransom since it will harm his reputation. Hence, he instructs Saju to rescue his son at all costs, threatening to kill Saju's family if he is unsuccessful. The scene cuts to Kimberley, Australia. Tyler Rake, a former SASR operative and black market assassin, is hired by fellow mercenary Nick Khan to rescue Ovi from Dhaka, Bangladesh. They set up a meeting where Tyler and Khan's crew prepare to extract Ovi. It is revealed that Amir Asif is Bangladesh's richest drug lord, so the extraction of Ovi will not be easy. Tyler goes to Dhaka posing as Ovi Maharajan's henchman, who has come to pay the ransom. But as per plan, he saves Ovi and murders his captors all by himself. His captors happen to be Asif's henchmen, so soon Ovi and Tyler will have more people coming after them. Tyler then transports the kid to the extraction location. However, Ovi's father's henchmen fail to transfer the cash to the extraction team on purpose, wanting to get the child back without having to pay Tyler and his team. Hence, Saju murders Tyler's comrades in order to bring Ovi back himself. As soon as Asif learns about Ovi's escape, he orders a complete lockdown of Dhaka, including the closure of all city crossings. At the same time, Nick informs Tyler that something has gone wrong because all of their associates at the extraction place were killed. The police in Dhaka are also working for Asif and are chasing Tyler and Ovi. Moreover, Tyler gets into a fight with Saju, both wanting to get their hands on Ovi. Both of them get severely injured in the fight, but it ends when Tyler hits Saju with a truck and knocks him out. He also requests a surprise Ovi to get in the truck with him and tells the kid to trust him in the process. Tyler drives the truck while a chopper follows them. As the chase continues, many of the police vehicles also start following them. They drive through the streets of Dhaka, causing several accidents on their way. Then, they eventually jump out of the moving vehicle at the count of three. After their jump, the truck moves forward and crashes to the pile of LPG cylinders and burns in flames. The officers on the chopper inform the colonel that the vehicle has crashed and is in flames, but Asif replies that he wants to see the dead bodies of the two. While people start to gather at the place, Tyler and Ovi are seen to be moving away from under the bridge. Saju also appears in the scene carrying a gun. He snatches a microphone from one of the injured police officers. Asif gets to the spot where the accident took place and doesn't see the dead bodies. Enraged, he orders the colonel to get Tyler at any cost and hands him Tyler's picture. In the next scene, Tyler and Ovi are seen at a factory hiding in a room from the workers and the police. Tyler starts to dress his wounds to his best abilities but has a hard time doing so. He asks Ovi to give him a hand to tie a bandage. After that, Tyler gets a call from Nick who informs him that they didn't receive the payment for the extraction of the kid, so they in fact have been played. Maharajan has all of his assets frozen and hence couldn't pay Tyler for Ovi's rescue. Hence, Saju wanted Tyler to do the difficult part of the job and then kill him to get the kid. Now, with no way out, Nick suggests Tyler leave the child behind and evacuate himself from Dhaka. For his assistance, she also offers to send a chopper just beside the bridge at Dhaka, four kilometers away from their current location. Tyler rejects her request and says he is not going to leave the boy in this situation. Ovi listens to all their conversation and realizes that Tyler is choosing to save his life while risking his own. After some time, Saju is seen with blood and cuts all over his face. He enters a hotel searching for a room to stay. The man at the counter is shocked, looking at Saju's condition, and immediately offers him a room. He enters the room and looks at himself in the mirror. With all his might, he fixes his broken nose, making a bloodied mess in the sink. After freshening up, Saju calls his wife. They have an emotional chat, after which Saju suggests she disappear with the money and their son if he were not to call her for 12 hours. Saju also talks with his son on the phone and asks him to help his mother. He hangs up the call after telling his son that he loves him. At the same time, Tyler and Ovi are in Factory's cabin when Tyler gets a call from Nick informing him that the chopper is ready for their rescue on the east side of the bridge. Tyler wakes Ovi and both of them carefully move towards the chopper. 
Tyler tries to drive one of the vans standing by the side of the road, but suddenly he sees two goons on a motorbike heading towards them. He instructs Ovi to jump off the van and also saves himself from being shot at. He sticks a rod in the tire of the motorbike and makes the goons fall off it. On facing them, he discovers they are just a group of little kids. The kids are also a thief's goons who work under his control. Their leader is a teenager named Farad, who Tyler humiliates with his fighting skills. In the same way, Tyler fights them with ease and escapes with Ovi. While on the run, they end up in a sewer. Nick calls Tyler and requests him to run away, leaving Ovi behind. Tyler reminisces about his son and refuses to leave the boy, so he insists she make a call to Gasper, a friend of his in Bangladesh. After spending some time in the tunnel, Gasper arrives at the place and rescues both of them. He takes him to his house and the two finally get time to rest. After freshening up, Tyler comes down to talk to Gasper. Gasper says that he is happy to see Tyler back and also misses him a lot. In the next scene, a retro bar is shown where Asif is enjoying his dinner with beautiful girls. Farhad appears with a cut-off finger as a gift for his boss, Asif. On asking why he is doing so, he answers that he was unable to kill Tyler and is sorry for his mistake. Asif gives him a life lesson while there will always be an individual who is more powerful than him. In the following scene, Tyler and Ovi are seen talking to each other. Ovi asks Tyler about his family and Tyler replies that he has a wife with whom he has not met for a year. He also says that he had a son who is no more because of a disease called lymphoma. Tyler feels sad that he was unable to save his child and was not even present during his last minutes. Tyler also says that he left voluntarily on a mission so he could avoid seeing his son die. Because of the same reason, he considers himself a coward. Later, Tyler leaves the room and lets Ovi sleep. After that, Gasper and Tyler are talking when Gasper suggests Tyler give a painless death to the boy as he is now going to die one way or the other. He says that he has known Asif for a long time and also stresses that Asif and his men will never leave Ovi. Tyler realizes that Gasper has sold the kid to a thief. An enraged Tyler punches Gasper in the face, making him pull out the gun. Just then, Ovi arrives downstairs and shoots Gasper right through his heart, killing him. Ovi is terrified of what he has just done. He begs Tyler to take him home and hugs him. Tyler promises Ovi that he will bring him home. In the next scene, Saju is seen smoking a cigarette when he gets a call from Tyler. He requests Saju to help him get Ovi home. After some time, Tyler and Ovi meet Saju. Tyler hands over a bag of machine guns to him and requests him to get Ovi home safely. He then briefs him on the plan and suggests he gets Ovi to the other side of the Sultana Kamal Bridge where his associates are waiting for them. Meanwhile, he will be distracting the troops and guarding the bridge. As planned, Tyler moves through his way with a bag of guns, leaving Ovi and Saju behind. A few moments later, Saju and Ovi appear at the bridge where they try to cross a police check without being caught. Tyler, on the other hand, is in a building from which he is trying to distract the police. He fires various rounds of bullets, making the police vehicle blast and is successful to distract them. Meanwhile, Saju and Ovi drive to the checkpoint, covering their faces. They reach the final checkpoint and are close to crossing the bridge. However, they are caught by the police at the last moment and a shootout ensues. Nick is then seen approaching the bridge with a rocket launcher. Asif is overviewing the commotion from a nearby hotel and orders Colonel Rashid to send two troops to the place. A chopper arrives at the place and starts firing. Nick from across the bridge shoots the vehicle and makes it fall into the river. Saju requests Tyler for help at the bridge, not being able to handle the policeman on his own. He struggles to fight back with the army and finally gets killed with a headshot from Colonel Rashid. Then, two policemen appear near the bus where Ovi is hiding. Ovi sees them and starts moving towards the other side of the bridge silently. Colonel Rashid starts to kill Nick's associates one after another. This makes Nick furious and she starts to look for a sniper who has been killing her people from a higher level. Finally, she finds the sniper Rashid and shoots him in the forehead before he can shoot Tyler. After that, Tyler gets shot by Rashid while trying to save Ovi. He falls to the ground and a scared Ovi arrives near him. Tyler suggests Ovi run as fast as he can to catch the chopper. Ovi obliges and reaches Nick and his colleagues at the other side of the bridge. Eventually, Tyler gets shot in the neck and falls off the bridge into a river. Although Saju and Tyler die, Ovi is safe with Nick. She takes Ovi with her in the chopper. At last, Ovi, Khan, and the rest of the extraction crew make their way to Mumbai. In the ending scenes, we see Khan murder a thief in a men's toilet at an event. Meanwhile, Ovi has returned back to his normal life, but the thought of Tyler has never left his mind. One day, he dives into a swimming pool at his school. After a while, he emerges from the water to find a guy staring at him. The person is blurry to the audience, but we can assume it's Tyler, assuming that he might have survived after falling into the river. 
And that was my recap of the movie. Hope you enjoyed it. Now comment on what your favorite part was and make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, this has been Total Recapped.